What sparks the surge in cancer rates, especially for colon cancer? It's not just the elderly grappling with this issue. Old people! Younger generations are increasingly affected. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocessed channel. Today, let's look at why there is an alarming surge. Why? Stay tuned to the end for a rundown of prevalent colon cancer symptoms you might be facing. Colon cancer stands as a formidable adversary in today's medical landscape, ranking third in terms of diagnosis, frequency, and second in lethality. Its impact is profound. However, what heightens the battle against this ailment is the perverse industry that surrounds it. Driven by profit, inundated with deceptive advertisements and laden with bewildering data, it often leaves both patients and healthcare practitioners at a loss. A widespread misconception suggests that genetics predominantly indicate one's susceptibility to colon cancer. While a familiar family history can indeed elevate risk, accounting for a modest five to 10% of cases, this narrative is far from exhaustive. Genetics may lay the groundwork but lifestyle choices often set the stage for disease manifestation. Recent research underscores the pivotal role of diet and lifestyle in adverting or even reversing this malady. Antioxidant-rich foods, for instance, are now praised for their potential in combating various chronic afflictions. This isn't conjecture. It's a flourishing field of scientific inquiry that charts the course of future medicine. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it. If you could subscribe and like, this helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. What indicates colon cancer's onset? Enter the agmatic colonoscopy, peering into our intestinal realm. Who should undergo this probing procedure? And how do we thwart polyp sinister transformation? Contrary to belief, colon cancer often hides for years, emerging as a leisurely growing polyp. Initially inconspicuous, it evades detection. Therefore, those at higher risk, especially individuals 45 or 50, or with family history, are advised to undergo a colonoscopy. The colonoscopy detects and removes lurking polyps crucial for early intervention. Symptoms vary based on tumor size and location. Tumors on the right side pose challenges due to the liquid stools hindering obstruction. Fear not, early detection is crucial. Stay vigilant for a glimmer of hope amidst uncertainty. Tumors with their unruly growth often bleed discreetly, yet this bleeding remains unseen. Here's a clever trick explore into stool samples. Yes, you heard it right. Hidden blood reveals itself in these samples, a telltale sign of trouble. Dispatch the sample to the lab for scrutiny. Alternatively, alt for the trusty colonoscopy, a loyal defender in the battle against cancer. But beware, keep an eye out for subtle signs. Chronic bleeding can lead to anemia, leaving you pale and fatigued especially if you're hitting the 45 or 50 year old milestone. If you notice this coupled with darker stool, don't delay, a tumor may be lurking. Now let's explore the left side of the intestinal arena. Here, obstructions strike earlier. Why? Because feces are already solid, packing less water than their counterparts on the right. But what symptoms might herald colon cancer's presence? One common symptom is a shift in bowel patterns. Imagine your regular routine involves daily bathroom visits or once every two or three days. If you're experiencing recent constipation with no bowel movements for a week or two, it should raise concern. Alternatively, the shape of fecal matter may alter thinning as it traverses the intestine. You might also face bouts of diarrhea alternating with constipation spells. Many endure chronic diarrhea, prompting doctors to consider a colonoscopy for tumor checks. Advanced stage tumors create distinct x-ray images resembling a bitten apple. This indicates narrowed intestinal passage, 
hindering fecal movement and causing bleeding. Bright red and visible at this time. Stool may darken due to blood presence. Like right-sided colon cancer, other symptoms of advanced stages include abdominal discomfort from gas buildup, swelling, weight loss, fatigue, and internal organ issues such as liver pain or lung-related breathing difficulties. That's why early detection and natural prevention methods are paramount. What exactly are intestinal polyps? These are usually harmless, petite growths protruding like extensions from the lining of our intestine and often exhibit no symptoms. The optimal method for spotting them is via a colonoscopy. This technique not only grants us a glimpse of the polyp, but also affords the opportunity to extract it and dispatch it for laboratory examination to ascertain its nature, benign or malignant. However, there's a twist. A small fraction of these innocuous polyps can morph into cancerous entities with time. And here lies the crux of our video's message. What factors drive this metamorphosis? Contrary to past notions, it's a blend of our genetic blueprint and lifestyle behaviors. Our genes aren't etched in stone. They're responsive to our actions. So. How do we thwart colon cancer's advance? Emerging research pinpoints dietary selections as pivotal. Food, glorious food. From supermarket aisles to kitchen counters, our food choices weld immense influence over our well being. The balanced diet coupled with healthy habits hold the key. These choices weld power over gene expression. Taming the activity of genes linked to chronic ailments like inflammation, dementia, obesity, heart disease, and cancer. Conversely, poor dietary habits and unhealthy routines rev up the activity of these very genes. In simple terms, they could fuel polyp growth, nudging them towards malignant transformation over time. So what speeds up this ominous metamorphosis? Numerous factors contribute to this, such as indulging in ultra-processed foods laden with excessive red meats that are heavily processed like sausages and salami. The onslaught of bad fats, notably vegetable oils, except for the revered olive oil, and the sugar rush, along with a sodium overload, all serve as catalysts, especially when derived from ultra-processed foods, akin to adding fuel to the fire for tumor growth. These products deem carcinogenic for some time now, further stoke the flames. Other culprits include constipation, inadequate gut microbiota, and chronic inflammation. The compound matters. Habits like Alcohol consumption and smoking also fuel to this threatening fire. So what's the antidote? To thwart colon cancer, prioritize only buying single ingredient foods, SIFs. It's the simple, effective solution. By default, they are not ultra processed because they're only one ingredient. I'm going to live forever. They are a diet rich in anti-inflammatory and antioxidant foods. Picture a rainbow of fruits and vegetables, daily spice doses of turmeric, and heavily fat feast featuring omega-3 rich delicacies like salmon, tuna, or plant-based marvels such as chia, flaxseed, and sesame. Don't forget avocados and eggs from free-range chickens, both brimming with healthy fats. Dehydration and fiber are key bolster them to alleviate constipation and boost gut health. Embrace holistic lifestyle choices, ample sleep, regular exercise, and fostering social connections. All potent anti-inflammatory and antioxidant elixirs. Nibble on nuts, seeds, especially pumpkin seeds, for added intestinal vitality. Now, let's address diverticula and diverticulitis. Can you indulge in seeds and nuts even with their robust outer coats with these conditions? Contrary to popular belief, 
Recent extensive studies debunk the myth. Enjoying these foods doesn't heighten the risk of diverticulitis or its complications. Instead, they can bolster intestinal fortitude and function, possibly even warding off colon cancer. However, individual assessment is key. If intestine woos persist, seek expert advice. Colonoscopy, a critical medical procedure, aims at catching colon cancer in its infancy. This intricate procedure involves threading a lengthy tube, sporting a camera at its end, into the intestine through the anal passage. The camera meticulously scans the entire intestinal tract, scrutinizing for abnormalities like polyps, tumors, or lesions. Upon discovery, polyps are are promptly removed and subjected to a lab scrutiny to ascertain their nature, benign or malignant. To ensure patient comfort, the procedure unfolds under sedation or mild anesthesia, alleviating pain. Most patients sail through the process without a twinge and often don't recall it afterwards. Commencing at age 45 or 50, colonoscopies are typically recommended for everyone. However, if cancer runs in the family, early screenings might be warranted. Subsequent procedures are generally spaced a decade apart, barring doctor's directives. While deemed safe, colonoscopy isn't without risk. Minimal as they are, potential complications like bleeding or intestinal wall injury loom. Nonetheless, they're rare, occurring in just one or two out of every thousand procedures. We trust this video proved informative. Share your insights in the comments. Please give us a thumbs up and extend the knowledge to your loved ones. Together, let's stay vigilant against the critical symptoms of colon cancer that demand attention.